through uh, our situations and our circumstances in life, Heavenly Father. We pray that we don't run away from you, Lord, but that we run to you, Lord. And Lord, we come today, Lord, just just today, as, uh, uh, thanking you, Lord, for the victory that the we have in Jesus Christ. Lord. Of relevant Christianity. Amen. We're going to talk about the doctrine of relevant Christianity. I know most of you are thinking already, what in the world is that? Now watch this. Paul said, I have made myself a servant to all. Paul did not say, I have made myself a servant of all. The difference is this. I, I see I, I see it as Paul speaking of his availability in contrast to ownership. Paul is free from all men, but he has made himself available to serve. Paul is a servant of Jesus Christ, who Christ has made available to serve men. That, that's what an ambassador is. An ambassador is in a foreign country uh, 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 serving, amen, in that country. But his service is ultimately to the country he came from. That's what his responsibility is to. That's who his responsibility is to. That's who owns him. That's who tells him what to do. That's who gives him the marching orders. Amen. So Paul says, I'm a servant to all, but I'm not a servant of all. Amen. I'm serving as a representative of Jesus Christ, but I'm not serving as your servant, although I'm serving you. You know, when you know why you do what you do, it's because you understand your purpose. Theoretically, we cannot be intentional by accident. Amen? We cannot be intentional by accident. It, it won't happen by accident. Intentionality means we do it on purpose. Amen. God giving me an assignment to preach the word. Amen. And we're talking about having a relevant word. Amen. Now, a relevant word means that it's a, a word for now. It's a word that is understandable. It's a word that we can apply. Amen. Amen. Uh, my uh, assignment of preaching the word of God, I preach on purpose. Amen. I don't accidentally give you the word. It's on purpose. It's because of purpose. I do it intentionally. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. I have a purpose behind what God gives me and, and how God uh, chooses to use me. Amen. That the word may be relevant. It does me no good to preach up here and don't nobody understand what I'm talking about. Amen. I'm preaching so far over people's head and, and using big words, amen, and my tongue won't even allow me to pronounce half of them, amen, but but I'm using big words and don't nobody know what I'm talking about, but I'm preaching. Uh -huh. yeah. It does you no good. I've missed my purpose, oh, yeah. amen. Amen. People's lives are transformed not only by the love of God being manifested in us, but it's also being transformed by the word, amen. But if you don't understand the word, how is it going to transform your life? And so the purpose in preaching is that the word would be relevant. We are living life on purpose as we pursue our destiny. Because we'll come into church, we'll shout, we'll give God glory. Amen. And we do that on purpose. But then when we go home, then when we go to work, then when we go here, then when we go there. God is not being glorified. Oh, yes. So the first reason that Paul is intentional is because he knows his purpose. 
And if you want your Christianity, if you want your life as a believer to be relevant, you have to live it on purpose. You won't accidentally please God. You won't accidentally share the gospel of Jesus Christ with somebody. You won't accidentally uh, manifest the real love of God. It's got to be intentional. It's got to be a conscious effort on our part. Oh, yes. Yes. I'm talking about the doctrine of relevant Christianity. Paul was intentional because he knows his purpose. You got to know why you here. Why are you saved? We are not saved just to simply profess that we are saved, but we are saved with an assignment. We are saved with a duty. We are saved with an obligation. And our, our purpose in life is to bring God glory. Amen. Now, what he assigns me to do to bring him glory may be different than what he assigns you to bring uh, to do to bring him glory. But our purpose in life is the same as that God be glorified through our life. Oh, yes. And that won't happen by accident. It's on purpose. Yes. And Paul is also intentional because he's following Jesus's example. Yes. 